This video introduces you to SidePlate basics from opening the application through grid matching. To begin, open the Tecla model and then double click the SidePlate Tecla desktop icon. Note that you should always open the application using the desktop icon as opposed to the icon in the component catalog. After launching the application, a dialog box displays asking you to locate the SidePlate XML file. Click OK. The File Explorer window opens. Here, navigate to your SidePlate XML file, select it, and click Open. This creates a SidePlate XML folder in your model folder and copies the XML file. Note that you do not need to manually move the XML file. Also, MyTech suggests keeping the original XML file as a backup. Next, the SidePlate Terms and Conditions display. Please read them, select the I Accept Radio button, and then click Next to proceed. The SidePlate Tecla Component tool opens. The first tab, Unsupported Connections, lists any miscellaneous connection IDs that need hand modeling or IDs that failed to grid match. The Matching tab lists materials and bolts. The side plate values listed in the dialog are what the engineer designed for. In the Model Value dropdown, select the Tecla Catalog equivalent that most closely matches the side plate values. For example, under Materials, the side plate value is A572, grade 50. Open the drop down and select A572 50. After selecting equivalent model values, click Update XML. This process updates the XML file with the model value selections. The next tab, Configuration, stores project wide editable side plate values. Here, you can edit the values while working on the project at any time to update your side plate plugins. In this example, no adjustments are required. Simply scroll to the bottom of the window and click Update XML. The next tab is Grid Matching. Here, the tool attempts to match the connection locations from the XML with the detailing model's locations. To begin, there may be a Select a Building field with a drop down box. This field displays when the side plate project was designed with multiple buildings in the analytical model. Note that you need to repeat the entire grid matching process for each option in the Select a Building drop down box. To begin grid matching, First, click the Load Grid Intersections button. Next, several green and red disks display in the model. The green disks are generated at any intersection that could possibly be a side plate connection. The red disks represent every connection in the XML that can be grid matched. After confirming the disks display in the model, Compare your drawings to know where each disk should be located. Click the Align Intersections button. This starts the alignment command in Tecla, and the application displays prompts in the lower left-hand corner. First, select the center of a red disk. Then, select another red disk that is aligned horizontally. Next, repeat the steps using the matching green disks. When grid matching is completed successfully, most, if not all, of the red disks move close to their matching locations in the model. Now, the status message in the lower left hand corner reads All intersections are aligned. If this message does not display, there are two methods to complete the alignment. The first is to simply select a red disk and move it to the matching green disk. 
The second option is using the zoom to single button. This option centers the view on an unmatched red disc and allows you to move it to a matching green disc. Click the check alignment button at any time to see if there are any unaligned discs. If necessary, undo all disc alignment by clicking the revert button. After all the discs are aligned, click the save button. This saves all the aligned locations to the XML and validates the beam and column sizes. Next, click Apply Side Plate Connections to insert every matched connection. When this process completes, any remaining unmatched connections are inserted using the Individual Connection tab. 